Hello everyone, back to shooting into today's second video. We're doing the ECMWF 42 day slash six week look at for today's second video uh, with a focus on UK and Ireland. So we always look at the wider European outlook with this one uh, on a uh, Tuesday, but on a Saturday, if you'd like to have a look at the second update of the week with a focus on Ireland and the UK. And I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say at first, BO2 was our 6 a.m. upload. And uh, we've also uh, got the weekend forecast and 10 to 14 day coming for you later on today as well. Please like, share, subscribe on videos. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, so we're going to begin uh, with the week one mean cell pressure anomaly. This takes us from the 12th to the 19th of September. Next week basically has low pressure coming in off the Atlantic into northern and western parts of Europe. The 500 millibar. Height anomaly shows that we've got above average heights to our north, some high pressure up there with lower pressure to the south. Temperature anomaly for uh, next week is warmer than average, above average temperatures to come, quite substantially so, around 3 to 6 degrees uh, above normal. And the precipitation anomaly looks a little bit drier than average to the north and west of the UK and Ireland, a little bit wetter than average to the south. Week 2 will be the 19th to the 26th of September with high pressure again sitting over and just to the west of the country. The 500 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like this with above average heights again building in from off the Atlantic into northern and also western parts of Europe. It looks like we're transitioning towards higher pressure in the second week. Temperature anomaly is still coming out above average, another uh, warmer average week to come, perhaps not quite as warm as it is in week uh, one, but still nevertheless above average temperatures expected. And the temp temperature anomaly looks a little bit drier than normal for the UK and for Ireland as well. Week three will be the 26th of September to the 3rd of October. I'm getting a little bit mysterious now, so we'll add in a question mark. And looking at, looking at the 500 millibar height anomaly, we see the high pressure begins to pull out into the middle of the Atlantic. Well, a trough of low pressure deeps in to northern and western parts of Europe. We're kind of in a no man's land, but I suspect the projection could be starting to move southwards a little bit through this week. Temperature anomaly is still above average, yet another warmer, warmer than average week to come in the third week. And the precipitation anomaly is a bit wetter than average just to our east and driving average out to the Atlantic. I think that could be starting to turn just a little bit more unsettled, maybe. Week 4 will be the 3rd to the 10th of October. Again, the mean cell pressure anomaly looks quite mysterious, so adding in a question mark and going to the 500 millibar height anomaly, uh, we look like that. Again, it does look quite mysterious. As you're moving into uh, October. So the temperature anomaly once more is above average. That's the one clear signal out of all of this that the extended, um, very, very prolonged warm spell is set to continue. No particular signal for uh, precipitation. Week 5 will be the 10th to the 17th of October. Low pressure begin to come back in from off the Atlantic along with the strengthening of the jet stream as well. The 500 millibar height anomaly again showing above average heights to our cell and a rather flat westerly type flow coming in from off the Atlantic maybe. The temperature anomaly once more is above average and as far as the precipitation anomaly is concerned not much of a signal but possibly going a little bit wetter just to our west and northwest. And then the week six uh, uh, mean cell pressure only from the 17th 24th of October. Once again, showing high pressure to the south. You probably expect some lower pressure up to the north. The temperature anomaly shows uh, heights rising to the south, so uh, higher pressure building to our south, sending the jet stream further northwards. Temperature anomaly. You can see it's warmer than average again. And the precipitation anomaly, lastly, it begins to go a little bit drier than average as higher pressure develops to our south. Right then, so uh, basically very warm six weeks to come. 
and oscillating week by week between drier and, and wetter weather, you know, depending on the week. One week it might be a bit wetter, next week it might be a bit drier, and so on. So um, a little bit changed in terms of the overall pattern, but very strong signal for the prolonged hot warm spell to continue for another six weeks. We'll be back later on with the weekend forecast and also the 10 to 14 day. Let's come back for that then. Thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying these charts, by the way. And uh, we'll see you a little bit later on for weekend forecast of the 10 to 14 day or two. But for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.